Hi, this is Ashley Swartz. I'm here for Beat TV covering SMG Sources CES. I'm very excited tonight at the to be joined by Lisa Weinstein, who is the president uh, at uh, at SMG of Digital Data and Analytics. Nice to see you, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's good to see you. So I would love to hear what you're excited about for CES this year. What are you looking for? What are you hoping to discover? What do you think is going to be the big topics of discussion? You know, um, I think it's interesting because I think that there's kind of two sides of CES. There's the future and in, in all of the you know exciting new consumer opportunities with technology and um, everything from mobile to convergence to big data and all the things that we know. And then I think there's a side of CES that's kind of getting down to business. Um, and so I'm actually excited for both because I look at this as an opportunity not just to get a glimpse into kind of the future and the opportunities. And we all know the future is you know not five years, it's, it's tomorrow, it's now um, with consumers and what's coming, but also the chance to actually meet. Our business is still you know people in relationships and working with our clients and working with publishers and technology companies. And, um, and so I'm also looking forward to having that other side of it, which is some productivity and, and business and um, getting things done. So That's great. So I know that you know mobility is a big part of what you do. And I, I've read a little bit about a point of view you have about mobility being a state of being and existence, sort of not necessarily just a platform or a channel. Could you tell me a little bit about that and what how that's changing the lens at which you look at all the, the news announcements coming out? Yeah. Um, look, I mean, I think it's a critical distinction, and it may sound like just a different word or semantics, but um, I actually think that we have to take off the channel lens as mobile as a device um, and think more about the consumer and behavior. And I think when you do that, um, there's some really, really interesting implications about you know the way that consumers are interacting with different types of experiences in places, whether that be you know at retail or with our um, with friends in a social type of environment through their personal device, and so um, you know I do I, I very much believe that it's um, the device is important because of the personalization, but the behavior that it drives is actually a much deeper opportunity for how brands can intersect with consumers in new and different ways that are meaningful. So how do brands navigate? the sort of multiple device paradigm you know we're in today the voracious appetites for content how do brands navigate that in this new world of being a mobility and be successful in a meaningful way so it's by not trying to boil the ocean and do it all right the first time I mean that's the bottom line you can't expect to to jump into new opportunities and do it flawlessly um, I think that you have to go in with an attitude of I want to learn and sometimes you fail forward and sometimes you have huge successes. I think a great example is the space of you know, um, local you know, location-based data. Um, and I think there's so much rich opportunity that can be leveraged in that space, but you have to try it. You have to do something as a starting point. And I think too many have inertia of just taking that first step. So to me, that's the key, right? It's like doing something and trying something and not being afraid. Um, and I know we it seems kind of overused or oversaid, but it's never been truer than I think it is today when there's just such a huge proliferation of ways that you can reach consumers through mobile devices. Well, it's interesting to talk about boiling the ocean. And when you think about social, local, and mobile, right? That is everything in the kitchen sink sort of of today. And we, we as an industry almost talk about that as a buzzword and a collective of an initiative or an effort. How do you dissect that and make it approachable and create runways for brands? So, you know, it can either be overwhelming to the point of paralyzing or it can be looked at as just an opportunity of recognizing that the ways that consumers can potentially interact with your brand um, and even, you know, actually purchase your brand is, is just totally different. And so, you know, my view is try not to look at it all at once and get paralyzed but start to think about it as what's a unique or interesting insight about the way that a consumer is potentially using a mobile device while they're in their store to even comparison shop, you know? Or use their mobile device while at their home to play a game or to interact with their television, another screen. Think of it as just, you know, really simple insights. Don't think that it's um, totally rocket science and different than the way that we've always approached the business, right? Because it's not, it's still consumers, 
It's just that technology and devices are changing the ways that they interact. And I think if you think of it that way, you can still then get in your comfort zone of, oh, I, you know, it's still marketing, right? It's still similar approaches to all of the ways that we've thought about consumers in the past. Um, it's just a little more complicated in terms of device and technology and place and social and all the different applications. So you got to try a few things. Thank you so much. I wish you a great show. Have a good week. And I hope I have a productive one as well. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. <laughs>